What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about several different horror topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about Halloween Ends. We'll be talking about The Nun 2. We'll be talking about Saw X. We'll be talking about The Exorcist Believer. And we'll be talking about Raka Raka's new horror series it would appear because we're going to talk about the future of Talk To Me. Starting off with Halloween Ends, Halloween Ends makeup artist Christopher Nelson shared this concept of unmasked Michael Myers over on his Instagram a few days ago. Now, I would say that I think the work here is great. I think the art looks fantastic, but it does share too much of a resemblance to a certain mama's boy from Friday the 13th. On the other hand, Michael is making up for his face only a mother could love with some pretty decent teeth. Well, actually, I take that back because it doesn't look like he, he's flossing if you look in the center there. So maybe subpar teeth is a better phrasing. But this is a pretty cool thing to see over on the timelines. And I tracked it down to Nelson's Instagram page. So you can go over to his page over on Instagram and chime in in the comment section below to let him know what you think about this concept. Um, let me know down in this comment section, of course, what you think about the design as well. Personally, I don't think we needed to see Michael Myers' face anyway, and I get that it's kind of shown throughout the trilogy, but what they did throughout the trilogy and even continued to do in Halloween Ends was they didn't overexpose the unmasked Michael Myers. Um, I get that this is a scary thing to see, but contain that terror within his mask and treat the unmasking like something special, which is what Halloween Ends does just fine without overexposing Michael. You know, this is a cool design, but if they would have still taken the same approach of not showing his face too much, would it, would it have even made that much of a difference? Unless you intended to show us his face fully loaded, un unmasked for a good minute or two. Anytime I hear Michael Myers being unmasked, I just have nightmares thinking about what happened in Halloween 5 and how he was shedding a tear, etc. I just don't want to see anything like that. And I do have to give the recent trilogy credit for how they treated those unmasking moments because they didn't overexpose his face. And they still had this had this aura around him and this mystique. So just to jump into The Nun 2, Michael Chaves shared this recently about Storm Reed's character in The Nun 2. Uh, well, last month, actually, when speaking to Collider. He says she's a nun in training and she's debating about whether she's going to take her vows. Now, this upcoming bit of this video with the nun too, it might have some spoilers you don't want to know because we're going to dive into some plot details that were confirmed by an audition tape that I will leave linked in the description. I've managed to track down an audition tape that is lining up with the spoilers I have about the film from test screening individuals. So Storm Reed's character in this audition tape is referred to as Sister Deborah. Her character moved from Mississippi to Missouri with her family after racism ended there after racism ended up in their house being burnt down so spending the rest of her childhood in Missouri then resulted in her ending up here with sister Irene her father couldn't afford anything else for her and Deborah's brothers had already started serving the country by the time they grew up so she figured she could serve God again I'll leave a link to the audition tape in the description Michael Chase has also said this is a this is violent unlike anything we could expect from the conjuring universe but we'll have to just wait and see uh, if you want to know in comparison between what I've been told regarding the nun the nun 2 and the exorcist believer I still will have to say on the surface so far because I have to see both movies before I can actually grade them accordingly on the surface Stuff I hear about the Nun 2 does sound worse than the Exorcist Believer. For anyone that's excited about the Nun 2, that is not to say that you should be no longer excited. I'm just saying, from what I know, I know which one I'm more excited for, and even I still think that the Exorcist Believer is going to be quite bad. But jumping into Saw X, Josh Stolberg recently made comments on Twitter regarding the future of Saw after Saw X. He said that we've talked about a lot of things, prequels, sequels, films in the middle, but nothing will be decided until after Saw X opens. And not even sure if Pete and I will be doing another one. Everything gets decided on a case by case basis. Now, remember, I touched on this idea of a TV show being on the table, allegedly, and it takes place between Saw and Saw 3, just like Saw X. But it's from the perspectives of the victims, which could work, of course, and give us more time to develop our victims, whoever those may be, and much more. Because you have a lot more time in the TV shows as opposed to the time you have with a one hour, 30 minute movie. So Saw 11 could easily happen very quickly if Saw X surpasses expectations, which I see it doing. I see it completely having October on lock. Something about Saw X and the way that trailer has gotten so many views in this short amount of time in comparison to the total amount of views that Spiral got when it dropped and still kind of has all these years later. I think Saw X is going to be 
something a lot of horror projects re releasing around that time will struggle to compete with unless you're Five Nights at Freddy. So I don't think The Exorcist Believer has a chance. I think The Exorcist Believer will still be a success financially, but I think that Five Nights at Freddy's is going to be the thing that really puts an end to the streak that I see coming ahead for Saw X, or at least I hope that's what it is. Now, Stolberg acknowledging the series' future should at least let you guys see that they intend to keep the series alive as long as it's profitable, which is the case for a lot of these IPs. As long as you have money coming in the dem and the demand is there, you're going to keep getting more entries, whether that be in the form of a movie or a TV show. That will have to be something we will see once Saw X drops. Now, The Exorcist Believer is rated R from some violent content, disturbing images, language, and sexual references. Woo freaking who? Guys, if you want me to be, ex or if you want to be excited for the film, be my guest and allow me to go into it with very low expectations because no one from these cast screenings has many positives to say outside of the acting, a few scares, cinematography, and that's all. The R rating was expected. Now it's been confirmed. The film is also having another test screening tomorrow night. So I'll see how that goes if anyone reaches out. But yes, The Exorcist Believer is rated R. If that makes you more excited for it then go nuts i hope everyone is able to enjoy it do not worry about my own downward spiral about it before i've even seen it it's my own prerogative to take this stance what i know does not sound good i'll just have to wait and see how it is executed because i did go into it did go into halloween ends with the same mentality and halloween ends actually ended up being quite good i was not one of the people really coming down on it that hard i actually liked halloween ends i thought it was a well-made film it just wasn't a good halloween movie and i do think structurally with the trilogy this should have been first or that should have been first Diving into the last thing here, we're going to talk about Racka Rackas Talk To Me because Racka Racka seems to have a series on their hands. Talk To Me, which is the title for the sequel to Talk To Me, but instead of T-O, they put the actual number two. It's getting a sequel with the brothers returning to direct and co-write. A24 revealed this yesterday, but we also know that they have shot an entire prequel about Duckett from the film's opening. So I'm very happy for Racka Racka because it seems like the Ty West effect with the X trilogy is impacted another, another pair of talented folks since we could have another trilogy on our hands by the end of this. If that prequel is also allowed to be released. You guys can let me know what you thought about Talk To Me down in the comment section below. Are you looking forward to Talk To Me too? Why or why not? If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.